Hey guys, it's Bob here, not Scottish drummer, and welcome back. Today we're doing a snare spotlight, and the snare drum that we're looking at today is the Tama Classic Dry Aluminium. And for all my American friends out there, go ahead, make fun of me. I say aluminium, I don't say aluminium, all right? But I think it's actually sold as aluminium over here as well. Anyway, I want to say a big shout out to Drummers Only for hooking me up with this snare drum and this fantastic t-shirt as well. They have a store, Glasgow, Leeds, they have the website, you can go check them out. So support your local drum shop, all right? Those guys are doing some great stuff. So this video is gonna be the first of a series, looking at some different snare drums. You might be able to see a few over here in the corner. Uh, we're gonna be looking at those in a series of videos. So the first one today is looking at this Tama snare drum, and this is a classic snare drum. Um, a lot of people spend some serious money on Ludwig drums, especially vintage drums, and that's because they want that aluminum sound. So what we have here, the Tama SLP line is the Sound Lab project, and these are very affordable drums. So this one, it comes in somewhere between 250 to 300 pounds here in the UK, which is really affordable for you know, a dedicated snare drum. And what you're getting with this drum, it's a standard 14 inch size by five and a half inch depth. You're getting good heads on here. You're getting the Evans G1 on top and the Hazy 300 on the bottom which are sort of my go-to anyway, so that's really good. And you're getting some decent snare wires as well. The drum itself is a 1.2 millimeter aluminum shell with a center bead all the way around there as well. And it's eight lugs on this drum versus 10 or 12. So it really sings, it really growls because there's less contact points going around the drum. It's triple flanged hoops on this drum, which along with the eight lugs, um, because they're so light and there's less contact points, the shell can just sing. So what we're gonna be doing is a few different sound profiles on this specific drum. Uh, first of all, the mics that we're using, we've got an Earthworks DM20 on the snare top. Love these mics. We've got an Audio-Technica AT2050 on the snare bottom. And both these mics are on k and mic stands. So they're not clipped on the drum, meaning that the drum can resonate freely and that's not gonna affect the sound. And I'll probably do a mix of this with our overheads, which are the Earthworks drum overheads, and also the room mics, which are the SE Electronics VR1, which are ribbon mics. So I'll probably do a little couple of comparisons with those like overheads alone, room mics alone, blended, snare top alone, all that stuff. There's gonna be no EQ, no compression on there. I will flip the phase of the snare bottom because that makes a massive difference. If you've seen these videos before, we're gonna have my mics running through my Focusrite Claret and the Octopre, which I've now got set up, and that's going into my MacBook Pro, running Logic. We're gonna do three different tunings. We're gonna do a high tuning, which I think this drum just sings. It sounds great at that type of tension. Uh, we're gonna do a medium tuning, and we're gonna do a nice low tuning as well. So it's about time we should get into these sound profiles. Now, remember, you can get this exact snare drum on your next recording from onlinedrumstudio.com. Now, let's have a listen. <laughs> 